Got my tea before I see my queen. Tika boom. I'm out here feeling naked as a jaybird, y'all. I got my lashes removed. <laughs> so I have no lashes. So basically, my lash artist told me, she was like, let me be 100. Because it's a new lash artist. Because I was going to other ones. And she said, let me be 100, okay? I was like, go ahead, girl, tell me. She said, you need to just take these off. Go ahead and get the removal. Come back. We're going to give you a lash lift. Um, and then go ahead and get a new set put in. I say, you know what, girl, let's do it. So I got my lashes removed. Oh my God. I look like a gremlin. <laughs> I look like a gremlin. <laughs> so I got my lashes. I'm sorry. I'm so, so I got my lashes removed. Uh, I come back on Friday. I want to get the lash lift. And then on um, next Thursday, I'm going to go ahead and get a full new set going and just start all over again and they're going to be the bomb bombing your face lashes which is going to be good because guys i'm doing a meet and greet like um and it looks like dallas is going to win like i didn't know i had so many subscribers in dallas that was like do a meet and greet in dallas i thought for sure houston would win the because i asked you know everybody like where you want me to go where you want me to go um, and I made a poll and everything and it just looks like Dallas won like it beat out Austin I would think more Austin people would want to see me but nope Dallas is where I'm going to be going next weekend and I'm actually going to be going to St. Marcus in San Antonio um, this week because I'm just going to be more like with my subscribers and interacting a lot more i think that's very important for my skills and my skill sets and i've been learning that i learned that this weekend when i was um you know watching my friend that's the artist like you know you have to have that fan base you have to have that presence and it's cool sorry guys it's cool to have it online but you have to be with your people and that's how word and stuff gets around about you um so i'm about to get business cards made up i'm about to try to find a graphic designer that can design t-shirts for me so if you guys know anybody that does graphic designs let me know because i still want to use the same company i'm going through but i need the the art done the print art like so i can use the print art as my picture because i don't know anything like that that's why my stuff is so plain jane because i don't know how to do anything like that so i need to um get a design like somebody make me original design that i can put on my stuff and brand my stuff so i can start selling my merch like i'm really starting to take this business serious of what i do on youtube like because this is my brand this is my business and i learned that over this weekend how i need to take ownership of my business and really make it my business and i think it's funny because everything that's happening at my regular job like the money ain't even coming in no more like it was it's hard now and you know with gas prices and they raising prices again and everything it's hard you know so i'm actually about to start doing um at the end of this week instacart so i'm going to be doing instacart uh, just a couple nights a week and on like half days sometimes starting in July on Saturdays so that way I can have extra money throughout the week I mean for one to pay for the gas okay because um Liz in like three hours will make 150 to 200 dollars you know what I mean so I'm like well if I could do that that pays for a lot of my extra expenditures you know it, it covers like travel costs and stuff like that when i have to travel it covers room stays it, it covers paying off credit cards so it's worth it the extra hustle you know until i can get my hustle where it needs to be as a full-time influencer because people think just doing you know youtube and stuff like that that is so easy like oh, it's nothing yeah right it's it's a lot of work and i really look up to uh people like ash and you know people that make this a full-time career and they can sustain and keep growing like chelsea like wow like out of nowhere chelsea just blew up out of nowhere and like to some people 70k ain't a lot but people you know it is a lot and in the grand scheme of things when you're getting the new people that's going into youtube that means these are people that watch youtube all the time 
and you're getting the 30k 35k a video y'all i'm telling you it's it's a bank on bank on bank okay and then these companies see that and they want to work with you and i seen one lady she made on youtube and all her classes and all the things she's running she she has a six-figure income after everything's taken out you know and i'm like okay tina you need to do that and she only gets like when her video views actually go up for youtube she's only getting 3k views a video and she only uploads twice a week so all her real real money is coming from old old videos that were popular and from all the new things that she's doing so i'm like okay you know, one thing that COVID has taught us is that you need to be able to do your own thing. So I'm ready. I'm ready to do my own thing. And I think God has to force my hand before I do things. So he like, okay, I'm going to make that commission look a little shady. And now that the commission is looking very shady, I have to do other things. I have to do the Instacart. I'm going to have to, um, ma'am, you see me backing up. You're going to have to wait. I'm going to need to focus on my brand more. Like, all those kind of things are going to have to be done. Oh, God. Just go, please. I need her to go so I can go. All those things are going to have to be done in order for me to actually achieve the success that I'm looking to achieve on my channel. Um, and when we do go on layoff, because I'm going to tell them for a fact I am not, I'm not working because when my kids are out of school for all those weeks i really don't have a sitter like that and i don't want to put all that on my mama so i want to be able between me and the days kenny is available for us to take care of the little kids and i can do instacart in between you know have a window of time that i can do instacart and i'll be doing instacart and youtube and you know full time and I do want to do like a um, meet and greet out of state. And I just got to pick the state and see what state will work for those months. So I got to find out what state would be the state to go to in November, December kind of thing. I'm really thinking like North Carolina or something, but because I want to see my granny. <laughs> That's why I'll be like, baby, hey. But um, I'm going to be traveling and I'm going to have to find where I'm going to go, you know. But I really, I really want to make sure that my business is a top priority. And I'm starting to learn that. Like, because if I can make it where my business is all I have to do um, in order to sustain and have and to grow and to have everything my family needs, I'd rather do that. Like, seeing the nature bees of the world and stuff like that and the Jackie Inas and all that and it, it lets you know that it can be done like Nature B she really don't even have a product line or nothing like that and yes with her videos you dang on right it she putting out a video a company is sponsoring it and she has that right you know her time is money too and people don't understand that like time is money so she can put out a video and, and every video come out somebody paid for it, a company paid for it we reap the benefits as the subscriber and she gets the financial money and then she gets the kickback on adsense so and she's always giving back nature b is forever giving back to her subscribers that's one thing you can't say about nature b is that she's selfish because she always doing something for her subscribers so you know i look up to people like that and i'm going to continue to look up to people like that so i'm going to guide myself because i'm serious that this is going to be a full-time business and i'm doing this to teach my kids too that hey whatever you want to do i don't care what it is you can do it like grace wants to be an artist that's Grace's dream that her dream is to be an artist a famous artist and make money for her artwork and most kids don't go into life saying, oh, I want to be an artist. That's what I want to do. Like, and, and she's so talented, so bright. And I'm going to push Grace to be the best artist that there is. It ain't going to get no better than Grace Rogers. Okay. And I'm going to be putting her artwork out there. And I'm going to be telling people about her artwork. And I'm going to help Grace get her foot in the door where she need to be in networking. I'm going to do those things for my daughter because you need to feed your kids dreams and I'm going to do whatever it takes and they love YouTube like I'm not saying YouTube is an easy way out 
I'm at Bath and Body Works. You see it? I'm not saying YouTube is the easy way out because no, being a YouTuber, like I said, is not the easiest thing in the world. But I believe if my kids want to do something like that and I have the means and I have the ability to help them get those goals, you dang on right I'm going to make sure my kids get to be in YouTube if that's what they want to do. I don't care what they want to do. I'm going to be here to support it because they're my kids. So if you have a dream, I'm saying all this just to say, if you got a dream, a goal, something you're trying to achieve this year, it's only June. You can still do it, okay? Well, let me get in this Bath and Body Works. I got to film a video for, um, I need to film a reel and I need to film a video for the YouTube. So I got to go, <laughs> but um, I'm going to do this, grab a bite to eat, and then we're going to go to the hair store because I'm about to get a crochet um, passion twist in my hair. I got bit so bad by a mosquito. I'm getting crochet passion twist in my hair um, this week because this got to go. So, yeah, it's time for this to go. It's going to come back, though. It's going to come back next month um, from Maven. But in the meantime, I just want to go ahead and do the passion twist um, because I miss them. You know what I mean? So I want to give it a month and try them. Well, I had passion twist last time. I had something else. I had faux locks or something. But I want to try it you know give me a little summer island island girl vibe you know what i mean so anyway i'm gonna get off here and i'll see you guys so i just finished up in the bath and body works so i got this for the channel um i was trying to get one of the big bags because i messed up my big sas bag it's back here but the kids trampled on it i was like no and it's like oh my god you can't even save it look they trampled it <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. they trampled it y'all I can't, there was no saving it so I was going to get another one um, but I asked them and they are like no they can't just give out the bags which is fine I mean there is no like oh they should have to give me loyalty kind of thing like who am I you know what I mean so I didn't make a big deal about it I just said okay and just got my little bag and just went about my day you know so yeah I'm about to go get my food I gotta eat like only thing I had today was a bang energy drink and i still got some in here hold on so let's go find some lunch man so we can hit the hair store and do what we gotta do guys it is so windy out here like how is it 100 degrees in the wind blowing like that's crazy but um yeah this is the food i ended up getting from chipotle I still wanna turn up, yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days, when you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave, so I wanna Don't hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed, and I have to know. Say, where are you? Where are you? All right, y'all. I came into Target with no cart because I'm trying to get one thing, and that's toilet paper and leave. So we'll see if I can go in here, get one thing, and leave. Because I don't have nothing, no basket, like nothing on nothing. Let's see if we just get the one thing in. I already broke code. They had mini baskets. <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. <laughs> These are the ones that, um, which girl was talking about in her video. Now I want to try it. God, y'all YouTubers be getting me in trouble so much. Here I am a YouTuber talking about other YouTubers. Ugh, but I want to try this. Nat, what? Natrium, the brightener, vitamin C body wash. We're going to try it. I know the one that um Chelsea got was this one. 
but I don't want that one. It says smooth, softens, and renews for a more even looking skin. I want radiant skin, so I'll try that one. These look so cool. Concentrated refills. So you just put the refills in there. But I don't like the packaging. Ooh, this one's cute though. That one's cute. That blue raspberry actually wasn't that bad. When I got the blue raspberry teens, it wasn't that bad. Damn. Big step up. I've been on. My big pressure. Hey. It's so catchy and it keeps getting stuck in my head. I guess because it's like the theme of my semi-annual sale, so it's stuck in my head. Big deal. Big step up. Like it. Mm -mm -mm. You too broke that head. Why tied so high? They got the off-brand for $8.99. I'm interested. All right, y'all. We finally made it over to the dangle and toilet paper. I'm going to get the same kind I got last time when I was here. Because it actually worked pretty good. Where is it? I think it's this one. The Ultra Soft Mega is $9.99. Not my card full. <laughs> These are cute. What would I do with it? They're so cute and they're half price. Ooh. The greenery. Sounds like marijuana. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, they got new candles, y'all. We'll get back over there, but they got some new candles. Ow. These are pretty. Lemonade stand. A Cheerios candle. Well, to stop. All right, I'm finally able just to lay around for a second. Like, I'm in so much pain. My period is going and I'm hurting like hurting, hurting, but I was able to handle everything I need to handle today. I still, I feel like I look like, a, oh my God, yo. <laughs> I look a mess. I look a mess. Kids love chips in my room. Like they be all up in my bed with chips and stuff. I don't know what's wrong with them. Hey guys, so it is the afternoon. Um, I'm actually on my lunch break and I started Instacart today. Woohoo! So I started Instacart today and I have my first Instacart order. So I'm actually about to do an order on my lunch break because I'm doing Instacart part-time. I told y'all that was gonna happen and now it finally has begun. So uh, Liz does Instacart and she makes a good amount of money just on the side. So I thought this would be a great way to have extra income and just keep money flowing while my job is not doing what it needs to do, okay? And I don't do anything on my lunch break might as well do a stop or two and make some money so let's get into sprouts and let's do my first order So I just completed my first Instacart and the crazy thing is it's right in the same area that I have to be in to do this video for Bath and Body Works. So it kind of was like a win-win, like I'm going to get paid the mileage, plus I need to go to the Bath and Body Works in Pflugerville because they have the soaps out for fall. So it was a win-win for me. So I'm excited. Ow. So if y'all are not doing Instacart and you want to give it a try, I'll leave the link below and my code so you have to use my code when you um set up to be an instacarter um use my code you know um if you were interested in doing instacart but it's
is super 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 easy and like i told y'all liz be making like just doing it part-time she's making four or five hundred dollars a week and that's just doing it like a couple hours at night and doing it on saturdays so she's making bank just having it as an extra job so yeah if y'all want to sign up for it definitely do it it's not hard at all it was very very easy the uh, i only had four items i had to get for the customer like it was nothing nothing you hear me nothing it was easy um so yeah if you want to earn extra money instacart is actually pretty amazing so stay at home moms you know it might be a good option for y'all so yeah i'm about to head up to this uh bath and body works see what's new and sorry if i look a mess like i am going through it like i'm extremely exhausted extremely exhausted like even my lips it's they crusty rusty ain't they oh my goodness i'm gonna have to put my lip gloss on but i'm just going through a lot right now um mentally and i'm trying to keep my emotions in check but i ain't gonna lie it's a little bit hard to do that but i'm trying i'm trying but anyway i'm gonna get off here because i need to pay attention to my gps so i don't get lost on my way to the bath and body because i ain't never went up this way before like the way that it's taking me oh i see the little sign thing up here okay i know where i'm at i know where i'm at okay cool okay cool but yeah anyway i still got to get to this bath and body work so i'm gonna holla back um and probably check on check on or check up check up check up on it we are from speaking of beyonce <laughs> i don't even know how this became about beyonce but speaking of beyonce y'all see how everybody um seeing the new pictures of uh blue ivy now it's oh blue ivy she's so beautiful blue ivy blue ivy but wasn't y'all just a few years ago talking about blue ivy because of her hair and everything but now y'all want to be blue ivy's best friend and i think they purposely did her hair like that so she could look just like b um when they caught her on the cam thing because i think all that was staged like i really do but you know the little girl is always beautiful just because she looked like her daddy and a lot of us look like our daddy okay stop acting like y'all all look like y'all mama yeah a lot of y'all look like your daddy and there ain't nothing wrong with that and they always trying to come for jay-z talking about him like and like everybody can't look the same and everybody wants to have this one standard view of what beauty is and stuff like that and i think that's stupid like seriously people find different things beautiful so you know beyonce might love a lot of things about jay-z and maybe the way he look and yeah he got big lips and everything else she love that that's her thing that big nose all that that's her she love that so stop telling people what they should think is beautiful you know and what they should think is right like i think there's something wrong with our culture where we feel that we always got to put our two cents in what somebody should think or feel mind your damn business like that's the best way to put it. just mind your business it ain't got nothing to do with you mind your business like what other people like ain't got nothing to do with you you don't like it look the other way i think we really need to get into like just minding our damn business and speaking of minding y'all business, mind your business about my hair. Gonna get my hair done tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know where that came up, but anyway, we get my hair done tomorrow because my hair been looking a mess for a week. So yeah, it's time to get my hair did. I don't even know why I'm talking about that, but anyway, yeah, people need to mind their business. Like, stay out of them, stay out of the Carters, because the Carters are billionaires. Okay. Meanwhile, you going up to Chick-fil-A to tell people, I hope you enjoy your day. Like, please, mind, mind yours. Mind the business that pays you, not, not the Carters, because the Carters ain't paying you, okay? Like, I just, I just had to say that, because everybody always got something to say about what's beautiful, what's not. Mind your business. How about that? Like, can I get a big helping of mind your business? I just always wanted to say that so I'm just gonna say it now <laughs> like I hate that like ugh. like my type like even when my type and dudes like my type of dude sometimes I be liking the goofies like the goof troop looking dudes but they be so smart and they just be having all these things going for them and they just be I don't know and I just be so geeky over them and that's just me sometimes I like that I like the goof troop but then sometimes I like the pretty boy. I like the boy who got the long hair, who got the, the tattoos, you know? Ooh, like I'm forever changing in what I like. 
you know and i find it all good because at the end of the day it's just about how a person makes you feel is what's beautiful like to some people i'm ugly and it's fine if you find me ugly like and it's to probably quite a few people that i'm ugly because a lot of times i don't even be putting myself together and that's my fault but you know a lot of people would say she ain't that cute okay but there's a lot of people out there it'd be so funny i put out a video i'd be like i'm looking to hop the trap mess they'd be like girl you're looking good i'm like girl is your screen broke bro i look a mess like today i look a mess um but everybody's eye of beauty is different but honestly beauty starts on the inside and then it works its way out because i'm telling you you could be the most prettiest girl in the world if that attitude jacked up honey you ain't never gonna have a man you might have them for a minute, but at the end of the day, you're going to be alone. Okay? Nobody ain't going to wife it. And if they wife it, they divorce it. Because your flow is your personality. And if you got an ishy personality, people ain't going to want to mess with you. Period. I don't know how I even got into See, I be having... <laughs> this is about Instacart. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, let me get into this Bath and Body Works. Get my little bit of footage and get my butt back to work. All right, Lucy's. Oh my God, they have luxury people candles. Thursday y'all my natural hair is out because I'm going to get my hair braided today I'm getting crochet braids but um I'm getting the uh crochet like kind of like island kind of braids you'll see when when it's done but yeah this is just my natural hair what it looks like I think I have one gray yo like no is that a gray no and whatever it was it came out but no I guess I don't have a gray I thought I had one gray hair but I can't find it. But anyway, that's what my natural hair looks like or whatever. I went to Smoothie King. Y'all know I really can't do the wee protein or whey, whatever it's called. I don't really like it, but I got to get my protein some kind of way because I am just going back to the basics of my VSG. I know you're like, girl, you do that all the time. Go back to the basics of the VSG. Yeah, I know. But I'm back to the basics again because I want to um, start like hosting events and stuff. Like, and in order to do that, I mean, it don't have to be a certain size to do it, but I do want to get my size where I want it. So while I'm hosting events, I feel my most confident. So I decided why not? just go back to what I was doing in the very very beginning it feels kind of <laughs> weird though because I remember in the very beginning like food was the least important part of my day thinking about eating who cared about eating so I don't know oh my god brain freeze when food started becoming so important to me again but <coughs> I'm getting back to the not letting food be important in my life anymore mode. And it's sad. I like, to me, I feel like it's sad. Like I'm losing my friend, but it is what it is because I'm, I've been playing around with these 20 pounds for about a year now. I've been pay, playing with these 20 pounds like for a year now and just like Tina stop playing with these 20 pounds and just get back to where you was. Happy Friday guys. Oh look at that pimple. I gotta pop that. Oh goodness y'all. Oh wait. Let me back up. 
back, back, back it up. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, my hair is done. Um, I got two colors, but I thought I bought more of the lighter blonde than the darker blonde, but I guess not. I bought an even amount of each pack. So this is what it came out. It looks pretty good. Y'all, I'm dressed like a boy. I just got on my sports bra and I got on um, shorts, workout shorts. What does that sound? So it just sounds like I'm, it just looks like I'm going to the gym. Uh, but I just got to pick up some juices and some stuff for lunch. So I just ran to the HEB real quick. Um, I am going to be doing uh, Instacart later tonight. So I'm going to work on between later tonight and early tomorrow morning doing 11 batches. Because if you do 11 batches, you'll get $130. So since there's more people in here than I thought, I just went ahead and put my workout shirt back on because... I didn't expect it to be that packed because it's only like 8 o'clock and there's like a whole bunch of people in here already, which sucks. But yeah, so there's my workout outfit. So let's chop. So y'all, I got my lashes, um, uh, what is it, lash lift. I got a lash lift done. So next week I'm getting my fake lashes back, but I just got a lash lift. And this is what I'm wearing today. It's super cute. This is Ivy Park on the fit, okay? And then this top is just from, um, where is this from? Walmart, I think. But it matched the dress from Ivy Park. So it's super cute. And yeah, that's what I look like. All right, all right guys, can you see me? So I am on my way to do some Instacart stops because as you know, the weekend, Kenny has the kids on the weekend. So I'm going to be doing some Instacart, y'all. Instacart has been going so good. Use the left lane to take right, the I-35 right. ramp. Okay, so Instacart has been going so good, y'all. Like, it is so easy. I'm so happy I just decided to really bump. Continue on I-35 for half a mile. Sorry guys. I'm so happy I decided to finally buckle down and do this because it's In a so quarter mile, take exit 252 okay. VA towards South I-35 okay, Frontage girl. Road. Okay. This is why I usually keep it off like so I can see it and not hear it because that's so annoying. But anyway, it's the cart's going great and yeah. I'm going to be doing it uh, for a couple hours tonight, so come Instacarting with me, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Take exit. I think Sprouts is probably the busiest store that I've been to so far, and I did the most stops at. So this is my second stop of the night. This one was really easy, a really quick, easy HEB shopping trip. 